Welcome back to Slime Rancher. This is Hybrid Steel, and today, well, it, it's day two for me, day three for the game, and day whatever it is for you guys tuning in. How are you doing? And welcome to the channel. So, I did a little bit of upgrading. I built some higher walls because these little smeggers keep jumping out. Don't like that, so they're they're done. Also, did a little bit of exploration, found myself some carrots, and found myself some heart beads. So we're going to be uh, genuinely taking care of that as well. We can feed that to the slimes, and that's all good. But, the downside is I don't earn enough money from these, and already profits are already starting to dwindle out of the market. Which basically means, I need more money. Now, thanks to you guys over in the comments section, and thanks to, obviously, me watching other people play this game, I need to make a bit more cash, which means I need specific things. And those specific things being, I've got four tabby slime on me, so that means I need tabby slimes. And this means I need rock slimes. Now, if you combine, if you have no idea what this game is, basically you combine slimes to make more money, because when they poo, they make more money. So I need these. I need rock slimes. I don't need Largos, I need these. Now the reason why we need these is because, well, this is where it gets a little bit gross. I need rock slimes to poop. Alright, so then when the tabbies eat the rock slimes poop, they turn into rock slime tabbies. And this means that they're going to start producing two lots of stuff. The plus side to using a tabby slime over a pink slime is that the tabby slime is worth more. So if you've got one giant slime that is pooping, one giant slime that's pooping two bits of plort, one blue and one tabby, this means that you're going to be making a bit more cash. This is where we're going with this. We are, but we're forcing them to eat poo. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so we've got three rock slime and seven tabbies and four rock plorts. I need a bit more. Let me just take this. Even though this is not worth a lot, it's still money. It's needed. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, we'll take it. Five rock plorts, seven tabbies. Let's get it on. It's, it's, it's a lot of messing around today. Lots of messing around. So we're going to force feed this into some money. I've also been capturing chickens. Now, the reason why I'm capturing chickens is, well... Unfortunately, they're going to be going to the greater good. What about the greater good? The greater good. The giant tabby cat that needs to eat chickens, so I'm going to be feeding them up. So I'm going to be putting my tabby slime in here. So the plus side to turning these into rock tabby plort, uh, slimes is that they eat vegetables and meat, which means that I can feed them vegetables and not have to feed them meat. And that's all good. So now I need to get rid of my pinkies. And the pink slimes can go for a swim. Bye bye. And that is why we combine those ones with the tabbies. They produce the tabby plot, which is more expensive, and the rock plot, which is more expensive. And this means, and I can feed them on vegetables. Right, so basically what's going to happen now is that as my crops grow from here, I can take it all from here and put it into a pen. And that's basically how this is going to work. I'm going to make some money from these and we're going to be all good. And I can also start upgrading my gun. I can start upgrading bits and pieces. And we can start doing, like, lots of better stuff. Making money. So I'm way off my target. My target is 10 grand. The reason why is because we can open up the lab. I know it's a long ways away and it's a lot of money. And we need to really sort of, well... Yeah, we need to upgrade a lot on that. But, at the end of the day, this is a good way of starting off. I haven't really upgraded much. I've just upgraded the basics. I think what I need to do is I need to prep their pen for the next load, which is these. So that's fine. Now I'm going to go and feed the big thing. Now, it's a big pink slime. Big pink. And on the way, we'll pick up some fit. We'll pick up some plorts. Thing is, I keep, I'm, I've started to actually call them plorts. It's, it's, it's poo. It's poo, that's all it is. Poo. I'm pretty much done here. We got a key. We've done the big pink one. We're all good. Next on the agenda. Well, if I'm going to be honest, next on the agenda is to... Um, we've got to go and feed the cat. And that's a lot of chickens. Thankfully, I've got a lot of chickens. Like playing Splatoon with slimes. Right, let's go and hoover up the chickens. Ah, almost intelligent. We have to male and a female. We were misses. I still don't think I'm going to have enough. 
we'll see how things go. Right, off to the cat. Right, let's go and see if we've got enough to feed the chicken, the, the, uh, the big cat. Oh, Jeebus. Let me see more. I mean, I feel like I'm going to KFC right now and be like, I'm just going to order everything. We probably don't need that much either. I think he's not that far from bursting. We might be able to do this before nightfall. Dangerous corner, this. Okay, we got six stonies. Yes! Ah, well that works. Have a good day. Alright, so this takes us back to the farm. This isn't the farm. Oh, I can't get in. Well, that's a bit bloody useless, isn't it? This is the, the ranch expansion, the docks. Deep, deep down in the great blue sea, I saw a thousand slimes smiling back at me. Alright, cool. So, I've found the docks. Oh, I almost fell in. Ah, so we can do more ranching down there as well. Well, isn't that just convenient? Well, back to the ranch for another night, and then we got to do a switchover. Basically, we got to take all our blue ones out of one pen and put them into another. And then we just cash in for the day. All right, cool. I'm going to head in for the night. When the morning comes, when to the morning comes, yeah. Of course, we've got carrots coming, we've got some brute uh, heartbeats coming, and we've got some cubes as well. Alright, let's ship them over. I'm a funky poo collector! I've got to get all this has got to be automated. There has to be an easy way to do this crap, quite literally. There you go, guys. Have well, be happy. Oh, I forgot one. Well, they're okay. Cool. Let's cash him. So we've got two and a half grand. Now, I know at some point these aren't going to be worth as much. and We're going to have to slowly evolve up. But this means I'm going to have to find these. It's going to be um, fun. We'll find them. I mean, I'm going to assume that they're going to be through one of the doors. I've got. I've got a key for a door. So let's have a look at the map. So when we leave here, we've got all this land up here to unlock. And all this bit to unlock as well. That's where the big plot was. We've been down here. That's basically a dead end at this point. So this cave system here is when we go past the angry ones and there's a door up here. Right. All these are unlockable parts from the ranch. Okay, all good. And then we've got this cave up here that goes into the big land up. Wow, that's a big piece of land. Imagine getting up there. Actually, you know what? I think we should go there. I think we're going to the big land. Oh, yes. We're going exploring. Actually, I need to upgrade my gun first. Shall I upgrade my... Actually, you know what? I don't want to upgrade my gun yet. I want to upgrade these guys. I'm going to put an air net in. I'm going to put a music box in. I'm going to put a... We don't need to put a solar shield in. No, that's fine. Plot collector? Yes. Auto feeder? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's just hoover this up. On the plus side, being this like basically automated now is that... I don't have to worry. Can I mix? No! I can't mix. Okay, well... They've got enough food. Let's put it that way. Right. Next. So what I'm going to do then is when I get the blue ports out of that, I need to find some more. Oh, I didn't do my tabbies. I didn't know I was going to do this today. Okay, let's go and unlock the big door. What I do need to do is, in fairness, I need to upgrade my thing. But first off, let's open the door. Door. All right, cool. Ooh. Now I'm not going to run this. I'm literally just going to walk around and have a look quick and see what we've got to explore. Because this, wonder how I get out of here then. Hello down there. Off we go then. Tabby's galore. Okay. This is really nice. The moth blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact that much of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this island. At this rate, I reckon that it won't be long before the greenery completely overtakes the far, far range. Well, that'd be nice. At least it look pretty. So we got chickens. We got carrots. I got tabbies. I don't need to. I don't need this many tabbies though. That's the thing. What are they? Eat 
Interesting. A honey plot. Oh, that sounds awesome. Hold on, I might have to find one of these things and take it with me. Oh, no, that's a tar. Run away! Okay, how- oh no. Um, 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 Smeg. How do I get out of here? Oh no, they're invading. Oh no. Okay, how do I get out of here then? Because the only way I came in was like, through the big hole in the floor. I need to start running because like, the tars don't like me. I said something nasty about their mother once. That's a treasure pod, but that doesn't really help my situation right now. You're a new chicken. What are you? A briar hen. Cool. How you doing, briar hen? I'm hybrid still. We're taking the food. We're taking their lunches and the motorcycles. Oh no. I don't really want to die. That's the big thing. Quite happy being alive right now. This way? I suppose it's this way. It's definitely not that way. Okay. Oh no. I think I'm stuck. This doesn't help my current situation. Oh, that was some skillful jumping. The first time I went exploring the moss blanket, I got stuck here, so I constructed a way out. It's up yonder. I think I got lucky. So, he got stuck here as well. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, Rimmer. Yeah, we got out of there, didn't we? Well, that's interesting. Am I back down here? Did I jump back down because I'm stupid? No, I'm okay. That's fine. All right. Okay, so I need to upgrade me as as a uh, an, as an explorer. I need to upgrade myself. I need some stuff, and I really need it sort of very quickly. And the reason why I need it very quickly is because I almost got stuck down there. If the game hadn't already designed a way out, I'd be stuck down there. Well, first off, I need to go and put these tabbies into a pen, and then I need to feed them blue plorts, because I need them to turn into things as well. With the automation on one tank, which is good, I have, I have automation, which is nice. And this basically means that I can mess around with them quite easily and not have to really worry about it. That's a good thing. I need to hang around till night time. Well, it's, it's nearly night time now, which is good. But I need the phosphorus ones to come out. The reason why I need the phosphorus ones to come out is I can't remember what they eat. It's either fruit or vegetables, or they eat like everything, a bit like these guys. Now, if they eat everything, that's easy to do. I can deal with that. But if they don't eat everything, then I'm sitting here going, well, what do you eat? So I have to wait until it gets to night time so the phosphorus one comes out so I can actually like work on them. Because I want to feed the big one. I want to make the big one explode. And I know where he is. I know sort of what I'm doing, but I like the fact I got a honey plot, which means they honey slimes are obviously profitable, which would be quite handy to have. Now, if they eat just vegetables, that's even better, because I can grow a garden, I can feed them automatically. If I can get all of this stuff to work automatically, it saves me a lot of bloody time, honestly. It's just the joys of the game, isn't it? Well, that's neat. What a beautiful night time. Waiting for those phosphorus ones. Come on, phosphorus. It's alright cause I'm saved by the bell If a teacher passes a test I know I'm in a mess And my dog got in my homework last night Well, definitely out past my bedtime now Tell you what, that's a big moon So the phosphorus ones eat fruit That's doable I've got lots of fruit on me Have I lost one? Oh no, I only put five, I don't think I only put five in there, didn't I? I need to upgrade these actually I need them to sprinkle and grow faster So, sprinkler, 500 Awesome. And can we do the same to this one? And uh, 500. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's where you went. All right. Back in there with you. All good. Right. Auto feeder. No, let's do um, plot click. All good. Right. They're both happy. Fantastic. Uh, oh, that's really good. Okay, cool. So I've got fruit. But that is all I've got. Then we might have to do this in a couple of trips, you know. So I've got 30 on me. Let's go and find the phosphorus one and see what 30 does. Uh, we need to make a jump. I don't like going down here. Right. Hello! We need to find some more fruit. Actually, you know, 22 might be enough. I've already given it 30. And this will be like 52 if it eats it all. Right, 52. Oh! Ah, money! 
Oh, I have a new key. Awesome. All right, we're taking this one. So what I want to do, because obviously now we're we're in the business of making a shed ton of money, almost automated, like almost fully automated, apart from my input has to fudge around with it a bit more. But on the plus side, we've now got two working tanks, pretty much 100%. I'm, I'm pulling the yield up on my farm, which is good. And now I've got these phosphor slimes. And what I want to do with these guys is I want to use them for mixing. All right, back to my farm. So to put this into perspective, today that I'm actually recording this is... What's the day today? Is it Tuesday? Wednesday? Is it Wednesday today? What is the bloody day? It is Wednesday today. No, it's Wednesday today. The, I'm talking to the camera now. So it's Wednesday today, basically. And what I tend to do is I'm, put, I'm putting these videos out every other day. Your critique, your video, your bits and pieces that you talk to me in the comment section, I will read. So if you've got any tips or hints or you just want to have a chat about slimes, down in the comment section, that'd be most appreciated. So these phosphor ones, I want to, I want to put out. I think they're fruit people, they're fruities. So I might have to get some fruit trees, but they're growing very, very quick. I like. All right, pink plots. They're not worth a lot, but they're good enough. I do need to get an auto feeder for this pen. Can I do that? Suck up that poo. Auto feeder is 500. We haven't quite got enough for an auto feeder, but I think I've got enough to build another farm. Now, I need to upgrade it to do the solar shield because obviously these are nighttime creatures. I don't really want to put the phosphor slimes out now because they'll just fly away. It's just the fun and joys. And then, what we'll do, last crop, I think, we'll chuck all this into the uh, auto. I oh, know, we'll. we'll what's it? It's half past three. Hmm. I think we'll have an early day. I've got some mail to read. Miss Laboo, the 7Z Corporation would like to extend a very special offer to you. An invitation to the very exclusive, exceptionally choice, high sought after 7Z's Reward Club. The 7Z's Reward Club allows you to earn ultra premium ranks within an exclusive club for only a semi ultra premium price. It's just that easy. So it's a microtransaction. Each rank grants you with a new club title, along with unique rewards such as a beautiful upgrade for your run exclusive customization options and more we look forward to your enrollment the seven years corporation offering you a path to greatness over a large sum of new bucks at a time <laughs> all wankers all right let's um go to sleep all right welcome back to the morning all right okay cool so currently these guys are getting fed carrots so i'm just gonna whack this here and be happy these guys are on heartbeats I need to make some money. So, easy way to make money, start harvesting. Oh, I tell you what, it's just so much easier. It's just so much nicer as well. What did you do today? Well, I basically just pushed a couple of buttons and things gave me money. Right, we'll empty this one as well. So now I can put an all I want to put an auto feeder into this one. Because that's 500 squid, and that's a lot of money. All right. So we are, are we on maximum yield like every day? Nutrient soil. We're good. I mean, these this is going to be growing so much faster now. This is good. Good. You, my little young chaki chappies, are on hearties. They're on the go slow, so that means they'll be fed all day through. And they've got 17 carrots left. Like, the amount of stuff I'm now going to just be... It just makes sense just to absolutely rinse one. So I don't even have to worry about feeding them. That's just so good. Right, well, oh, we need to put a net on. Smeg. And I need fruit as well. Oh no, we made the other one pop, didn't we? We're all good. All right, cool. So, in the next video, these phosphor slimes, I need to get some money together to build them a pen so they're in the night time so they can actually thrive. I also need to find out what they eat. I think they're fruit, so we should be okay with that. I'll just plant another tree. We'll get that maximised and it's all good. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these chickens. I mean, they are just going to die over time. I'm just going to get more chickens. It'll just... They'll be alright. Or they're going to get eaten by something. I don't know. At the moment, I'm not even feeding them. Oh, I'll upgrade those as well at some point. We'll figure this out as we go. But they seem to be happy enough, and that's good. They're making me twice as much money. We've made, we're making enough money now to just really pour it in, and it's good. So, the next thing I need to do is I need to look at these phosphor slimes. Because phosphor, they're worth 31 a piece, and that's good. That means that's, that's worth a little bit of extra cash. Now, I'm thinking, if I mix those with another type, let's say I mix them with rock again, 
they're going to make rock ones, which is good. So I want to do a little bit of experimentation, see if we can get a maximum amount of money out of them. I'm going to assume if I mix them with a tabby or a rock, then I'm going to get double out of them as well. And I think that's where I need to go. Again, down in the comments section, let me know, because at the end of the day, I'm just guessing. I'm hoping that is what's good, though. These beauties. So I think in the next one, then, we're going to do a bit more exploring. We've got another key, and I don't know which door to open. I'm going to leave this one up to you. Which door should I open? Shall we go? Well, this bit over here, we're not unlocked. So we can unlock this bit over here. We didn't find the map thing for this place. Oh, we need to find the map thing. And we need to find the map thing for this place. Cool. Well, it doesn't matter where I go. I've still got to explore. Still got to find stuff. So until my next video live stream or whatever else to do on this channel, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know down in the comment section. In, in tips, anything you want to give, it's all good. Thank you very much for coming by. I have been hybrid still. I'll see you in another one. I'll say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Boom. Fist bump to you.